Hello, my name is Ayşe Gülyakenci. I'm from Istanbul Culture University. I'm also the NIAC Turkey chairperson. In this presentation, I will be talking about the new astronomy curriculum pilot program in Turkey. Let me start by introducing our NIAC team in Turkey. I am the chair and contact person as an astrophysicist. Professor Serdar Evren is also another astrophysicist in the group. Tassin Demircular is a physics teacher and he's also working for the Ministry of Education Curriculum and Textbooks Department. And Mert Kocher is also a physics and science teacher in another state school. Everything we may say that it started in 2006. We organized a symposium about astronomy in science education. This symposium was organized by the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, TÜBİTAK, TÜBİTAK National Observatory, Minister of National Education, General Directorate of Basic Education, and Turkish Astronomical Society. What we have seen in this symposium, we had over 300 participants as teachers. More than 60% of teachers expressed that they did not take any astronomy courses at the university level. They haven't been to an astronomical outreach event and 95% of teachers believe that the teacher training courses held inside the Ministry of Education back then was not, was not enough. The need analysis we have done after this workshop or symposium revealed that 60% of teachers did not find the current classical science curriculum to meet, to meet the needs of science teaching. After that, we started astronomy teacher trainings. Usually the teacher trainings were held in coordination with Turkish Astronomical Society. We started in 2006 and over the years, we accomplished almost 60 face-to-face -face and more than 60 online uh, astronomy teacher training workshops. Our crew members mostly consists of astrophysicists, science teachers, physics teachers, and even ast uh, amateur astronomers. Uh, the local organizers are usually the provincial directorate uh, for national education of the city of the workshop is held, and sometimes private schools, state schools, or science art centers, which is an official unit established by the Ministry of Education. The local municipalities also provide financial support. In some occasions, this is a multi stake older model that keeps these teacher trainings sustainable. Astronomy lectures are also responsible for the academic training part of the workshop and the local organizers may change. Over the years, we have trained more than 5,000 teachers and in every organization, minimum 50 teachers are trained and the target group of especially science and physics teachers, but sometimes specific sessions are organized for interested groups from kindergarten to special education teachers as well. Our main goal is to inform teachers about the basic and current issues of astronomy, recent explorations, and innovative and inclusive teaching methods that they can use in their classrooms. In the pandemic, we didn't stop. We also organized about 250 lectures online from our YouTube channel, also in using our Zoom uh, platforms. As a result of these workshop series, new educational programs are being considered by the Ministry of Education. We have been working with them for over the years now, taking the local municipality and science centers as stakeholders, stimulation of local innovation is obtained from these teacher trainings. Now in 2018, the curriculum has changed and that is the latest version now being used. The information, media and technological skill areas are the most involved in this new curriculum being used right now. 
In primary school, there is some astronomy in the science lectures and uh, course programs, in starting from grade three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in secondary school, astronomy is now offered as a selective course in grades nine and 10 at the moment, but usually it is not choose by the students or offered by the <clears throat> teachers because they don't feel themselves comfortable teaching this astronomy course. So we needed some new change. So with the efforts of Turkish Askam Society and our now well-trained teachers, all over the years, these teachers have been now working with the Minister of Education. So they have been involved and inside the new curriculum studies for secondary schools. A new curriculum study for secondary schools is initiated by the Minister of Education in cooperation with TÜBİTAK, the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, in November 2021, a very recent development now. TÜBİTAK Science High School was chosen for the trial studies of the new modern science teaching programs developed. The new pilot program aims to provide improve, improve the science high school curricula by developing the mandatory and selective course programs, new courses such as astronomy and the universe, innovation oriented project design, financial mathematics, human machine interaction, epidemi epidemiology, polymer chemistry, future energy systems, and so on. Tubitak uh, Science High School uh, only accepts students from the first percent of high school entrance exam and was established by the Tubitak itself in 2021, also very recent science school, which is accepting only very uh, high level uh, students. Now that is where the new pilot program is going to be applied. So there has been a science high school curriculum development workshop held this year in March. The Minister of National Education, General Director of Secondary Education and TÜBİTAK organized this workshop. But not only the state uh, stakeholders were involved, but uh, the participation of the textbooks department, TÜBİTAK, expert academics and teachers also. Uh, participating in the workshop, development studies were carried out to ensure that the subject acquisition skilled relationship in the related course contents of science high school is reflected effectively in the learning teaching process. So the course programs, the evaluation types have been discussed in this workshop and the new pilot program courses have been developed. Three new extended astronomy and astrophysics courses have been proposed during these studies for secondary education in science high schools in Turkey. One of them got approved for the pilot program to be applied in Tübitak Science High School. Detailed teaching program of this new course, which is called Astronomy and the Universe. It's gonna be a mandatory course and the teaching program has been designed in cooperation with astronomers, physics teachers, course development and design experts, evaluation and assessment specialists. It has been designed, now it is going to be approved again for the pilot program and so that uh, when we have a new book, textbook for this course, it is going to be starting in 2023 with the new students coming in the science high school. Now a group of astronomers and physics teachers are presently working on the textbooks for this new pilot program to start in 2023. 
So the Astronomy and the Universe mandatory course is going to be starting next year and we'll see how it's going to go after the results come by from the pilot program. We hope that this new curriculum will be applied to all science high schools, first of all, then to all high schools in Turkey. Thank you for listening. I will be grateful for your comments about the curriculum works in your country as well. See you.